If you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. The Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener is sponsored by the following. It all starts in the soil. Since 1925, Kellogg Garden Organics has been dedicated to providing you and your family organic products that have helped your gardens grow. Our organic soils and fertilizers can now be found at the Home Depot. MIGardener.com with over 450 varieties of non-GMO, heirloom, organic, flowers, vegetables, and herb seeds, all for 99 cents. MIGardener.com HappyLeafLED.com A commercial grade grow light with a home gardener's affordability. All indoors, no fans, no motors, simply plug in and grow. Great for seed starting to lettuce to full grown tomatoes. HappyLeafLED.com Welcome to the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener. I'm Joy Baird. We're starting herbs today from seed, and this can be challenging in some realms, but it's pretty easy if you just follow, if you just make it simple, if you just keep it simple. Now, some of these you need to gauge on when your last average frost date in, is in your area. You can find that by going to your favorite search engine, typing in last average frost date, insert your zip code. Others will take a long time to germinate. And when I mean long, some can take up to 28 days to germinate if the conditions are all perfect. Some, and maybe a little longer, maybe a little shorter. So this is one of those plants that you have to have extreme patience with. Just because you don't see them sprouting in four days like you might see with leaf lettuce, that doesn't mean the seed is not viable or doesn't mean the seed's not gonna germinate. Have to have plenty of patience here. So you can do this in a variety of different ways. We're using styrofoam cups. You can poke holes in the bottom and this is simply because we had these left over. This wasn't a purchase that we made specifically for this job. You can use plastic party cups, big party cups. You can use old planting pots, uh, small planting pots. You want to keep it to a minimum. You just don't want to pack them because you're going to have to break them apart. So uh, you don't want to pack them solid. So keep that in mind. And these will be transferred out into root maker trays once they get established uh, in that aspect. So let me get a couple of more of uh, these here. We're going to do lavender. It can take seven to four, uh, seven to 21 days, probably sometimes in some instances a little longer. So we've just wrote on the side here with the, the nice thing about styrofoam, we just write on the side. And these are both lavender. We're gonna do a double batch. Some people have great challenges with lavender and, and we have as well. So we're going to learn as we go here uh, how we can better get the lavender to grow and to utilize it. It'll take about 85 days to reach maturity. So we want to um, do what we can to get it growing. And the seeds here, very, very small. And I'm just going to do a pinch in each cup. And some over here. And the rest right there. Okay. Then I'm just going to take a dusting of the Kellogg Garden Product po Natural Potting Mix here. We've got the natural potting mix and we're just going to dust over top of them. Again, if you get a little bit more on that, it's not a big deal. All of our seeds are coming from uh, MI Gardener. Uh, they have a whole line of herbs that uh, are really good for uh, a lot of aspects in cooking and sometimes based on what your um, use is, uh, potentially uh, for medicinal or teas, so that keep that in mind. Um, so let, we got the lavender done. Let's do, let's just do basil here. Mammoth basil, take 14, 28 days. So it's a very long, that's how long it can potentially take to germinate. So we're gonna get some more uh, potting mix here. When you're using uh, any type of device to plant in, put your potting mix in, press it down so there's uh, no air pockets, so everything can grow good. Now, the uh, if you did poke holes in the bottom of these cups, you could bottom water. We're going to gently mist the, the top with water. This potting mix has already got a moisture consistency to it, but we do want to keep the soil moist, moist, damp, not soggy wet, because that will impede the germination of a lot of seeds if they just set in very soggy water. They're not going to grow. All right, 
right, so that's a good amount of seeds there. We're just going to sprinkle them throughout there. And then take some more potting soil and just dust on top. Press down, make sure it's good seed soil contact. Again, we're using all of our uh, seed starting mix is Kellogg All Natural Potting Mix. It's regionally made. It's got slow. It's got fertilizer in it. It's got horticultural grade perlite in it. That's those little white uh, particles that are actually allow moisture retention as well as aeration, so the soil doesn't get packed in cells or containers or pots. Uh, it's also got aged wood fines in it as well. And, Based on where you're living and where you purchase it at, some ingredients may have you may have and others you don't. You can find all of the Kellogg Garden products at your local Home Depot. Just go to homedepot.com and put in their search bar, Kellogg Garden Products, and then they will have the inventory listed uh, up to date as currently and as they get more and more of the product in. So we're going to do two lemongrass plantings here. This is Holly's favorite uh, herb here. We make a lot of teas with it. Oh, we dehydrate it and then you can uh, steep it and make teas. This will take 7 to 14 days and it grows kind of like, uh, it grows like a grass and it has a very fragrant lemon uh, aroma to it while it's growing as well. And these seeds are a little different than what we have been working with. And I'll show you why. They're almost, the, they have the appearance like a fescue seed or a, a grass seed because it's a lemon grass. So, so you can see how they look. Now I should put some potting mix in here. Press it down and then just, I'm going to overseed this heavily because I do want a lot of lemongrass. And again, when these germinate and they get some uh, growth on them, then we will move them from these little homes because they're going to get root bound. If you just leave them here for the next couple of weeks, they're going to bind up and actually restrict and uh, stress because they have nowhere else to grow. So again, that's about right there. And this is the basics of how you're going to plant your herbs. Again, the only variable is the device in which you plant them. You can do the little nine or six pack cells. You can do the cups like this. Anything that works, again, keep in mind of your time to, that you want to get them outside and the time that it's safe to get them outside and the length that it takes to germinate so you're not sitting there going, well, they're not going to grow, they're not going to grow, and you pour them out and you start over and it's the same procedure over and over again. We've got some lemon basil that we're going to plant. We have rosemary. This is another 20, potentially up to 28 day germination period. Uh, we've got some sage, some Russian tarragon, as well as some dark opa, opa uh, basil there. So, and this is just some of many in which you can grow. So once we get these planted, then we got to talk about light. And there's sep several different ways you can supplement light to your herbs. And we'll talk about that once I get these planted. All right, before we talk about grow light setup or light setup, one thing you can do to help increase the percentage of germination on and, and success rate of your herbs is put cinnamon, a dusting of cinnamon on top of the soil. And what that's going to do is two things. One, it's going to help if you have uh, fungal gnats, that's going to repel the fungal gnats. Cinnamon has an antifungal property and fungal gnats eat the fungus microscopic on top of the soil because the soil is too wet in some instances and they lay their larvae and then you have more and more uh, soil gnats. Also, it helps prevent damping off, which is a disease that attacks the stalk or the stem of the, the seedling and rots it for, at soil level. So 
keeping the soil damp, not wet. That was one way to prevent it. Another way is to help is use uh, ground cinnamon. So with these seeds taking as long as we uh, had spoke about 7, 14, 28 days in some instances, if you are only putting them under a grow light and that's the only plant you have, you don't have to turn that grow light on until you see the plants emerging. In this, this instance, we have brassicas, we have onions, we've got tomatoes that are uh, beginning to germinate, then we, have, we need the light on. So with the, uh, the Happy Leaf LED light, it will broadcast across three flats, and then on the outer flats, you just rotate those uh, weekly, and there's absolutely no problem. And again, the distance, there's so much, uh, the light, or, light, light is so intense that it keeps these plants at a happy level. And if you're interested, we have a coupon code that we've worked with them that they can that we're providing for you. It's WVG at checkout to save 5% on orders, $50 or more. And these are 17 inch lights. They have four inch lights that you can actually put at your desk at work and grow. It's a, called a garden in a box with, um, with mason jars and the lights and the clay balls, uh, clay pebbles. You can grow that or they actually have 33 inch lights as well. So they're made in America, designed in America. So again, your herbs are going to take a long time. Please be patient. Don't think they're not germinating because they do need time. As long as you keep them moist, they're going to do fine. Thanks for joining me. Join me again next time for more organic gardening and seed starting. I'm Joy Barrett and this has been the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener. For more information, please visit thewisconsinvegetablegardener.com.